the United States Army has chosen two of the nation's major freelance military manufacturers to compete for the opportunity to supply a new light tank program. BAE Systems and General Dynamics will each get up to $376 million to outline and construct 12 light tank prototypes in the span of just 14 months. Maintaining military supremacy requires constant armament innovation and strategic development, and a guaranteed way to continuously uphold cutting-edge military modernization is by endorsing internal competition. Outsourcing massive military contracts to different companies that can produce a wide array of different results is an effective way to explore several options in a short amount of time and guarantee that the outcome attained will be top-notch. The U.S. Army urgently needs to bolster its numerous infantry brigades with light armored vehicle support capable of deploying fast while still providing reliable protection to soldiers on foot. For this purpose, the U.S. is commissioning the construction of 504 state-of-the-art light tanks. After BAE and General Dynamics deliver the prototypes, the U.S. Army will heavily test the vehicles to identify all possible advantages and disadvantages and subsequently choose one of the companies as a fixed provider for their new fleet of tanks. Few details about the ambitious designs that each of the massive corporations are bringing to the table have come out to the public, but the enthralling race looks poised to deliver an unprecedented outcome with expectations at a scorching high. A sour past. The U.S. military has a peculiar history with light tanks, beginning with the fact that in contrast to most nations in the world, they don't like calling the light armored vehicles light tanks. The term tank has a precise meaning inside the lexicon of U.S. armed forces, which is rooted in fulfilling a particular role. A conventional tank is an armored vehicle used to spearhead mechanized attacks to break enemy lines and penetrate deep within their territory ahead of infantry units. In contrast, light armored vehicles provide support and protections for infantry troops working practically as mobile living posts. The last light tank massively deployed by the U.S. military was the M551 Sheridan, which was designed all the way back in 1967. The Sheridan was developed to move fast, overwhelm enemy troops, and support infantry units with the utmost agility. The vehicle was light and nimble, and its unique continuous track system made it almost impervious to getting jammed in the mud. The design even allowed the tank to be parachuted directly into enemy territory, making it a versatile weapon. The Sheridan was hastily developed and deployed into the battlefield to bring much-needed relief to U.S. troops in Vietnam. This decision would later stem much of the uneasiness the U.S. military felt regarding light-armored vehicles. Despite it being adored by foot soldiers, the Sheridan soon proved to be a disappointment for U.S. leaders and tacticians, as its performance left a lot to be desired. The light tank had minimal storage for ammunition, so it would often run out of firepower during the fighting. To make matters worse, the ammunition it did carry consisted of 152mm single-piece rounds. However, unlike the artillery, the warhead was attached to the propellant, making the bullet a significant hazard to the tank's personnel. If the rounds came into contact with fire, they could explode, so the crew had to immediately evacuate the tank after a hull breach. Unfortunately, such an explosion became a recurring occurrence, much to the frustration of U.S. commanders. The numerous technical issues forced the U.S. Army to cancel production of the Sheridan and recall all active units. The whole ordeal left a sour aftertaste for U.S. forces and contributed to the U.S.'s sporadic use of light tanks. Until now, the M551 Sheridan was never replaced by a newer model. Hence, it is of the utmost importance that the new light armored vehicle the U.S. develops overcomes all the setbacks showcased by its predecessor. A fierce competition. As the need for a new light armored vehicle intensified, a contest was launched by the U.S. Army. The rules dictate that each company has to design a tracked light armored vehicle with a 105 to 120 millimeter cannon armored with plates thick enough to resist a classified level of enemy fire. Another essential requirement is that at least two light tanks should fit into the back of a C-17 aircraft to ensure a swift and effective deployment. The vehicles need to be in the 30-ton range while proving to be fuel and ammunition efficient. 
first contestant is General Dynamics Corporation, a Fortune 100 American Aerospace and Defense Corporation from Virginia. As of 2020, it was the third largest defense contractor in the United States and the world. General Dynamics operates in over 45 countries and produces military equipment, from jets and armored vehicles to nuclear submarines and experimental aircraft. On the other side, there's BAE Systems, a British corporation that has become the largest and most powerful military manufacturer in Europe. The colossal company stemmed from the convergence of several historical British weapons manufacturers, like Supermarine and Vickers Armstrong. Like its American counterpart, BAE also conducts a vast operation worldwide and manufactures a wide range of weapons and defense equipment. As of 2021, both companies have delivered their preliminary prototypes to the U.S. Army for initial reviews. The first step in the review process consists of a six-month soldier vehicle assessment program where the soldiers who will be relying on the capabilities of the new vehicle get to test the tanks before anyone else. Brigade General Glenn Dean, the Army's Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, commented about the soldier vehicle assessment, quote, I think the outcome from the soldier assessment, which both contractors completed, is, yes, it is a viable concept. We understand what the support requirements are for an armored platform supporting an IBCT. For the assessment program, General Dynamics offered an innovative, lightweight frame with a high-performance power bank and a cutting-edge suspension combined with a cannon system featuring the latest version of the turret found in the Abrams main battle tank. These similarities would make the light tank innovative but also familiar to tank crews. Don Kochman, General Dynamics' U.S. General Manager, has claimed that U.S. soldiers testing their prototypes had some minor comfort-type requests. However, the troops generally appreciated the new suspension system and quick assimilation due to the tank's resemblances to the Abrams armored vehicle. On the other hand, BAE struggled to deliver its prototypes at the specified time frame, blaming the ongoing pandemic as a crucial factor for the delays. However, once delivered, a BAE spokesman stated, quote, everything went great. We got really great feedback on the vehicle from the soldiers that operated it. Although not much technical information about BAE's prototype has been released, reports indicate that its design is technically a heavily modified and updated M8 armored gun system with state-of-the-art infantry support and combat features. It will be a tough choice for the U.S. Army, as both designs are vastly different. General Dynamics tank is robust and complies with all of the Army's prerequisites, while BAE's proposal is much smaller and easy to deploy, with three of them fitting inside a C-17. As of late 2021, the prototypes from both corporations are undergoing weapon system tests, and after that evaluation, the tanks will undertake a series of rigorous maneuverability tests. After successfully completing all testing cycles, the U.S. Army will finally select the best design during the third quarter of 2022. Thank you for watching our video. Do you think weapons development should be handled as a competition? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our history-inspired content.